Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 and I don't know what we're going to be doing today. Um, one thing that I might want to go and check out, I, how do I get up there? Looks like there's a walkway over here. Where are the stairs? soon. Happy trails? Is that a threat? I'll be earthbound soon. Keep an eye out for me. Oh, this is all the different ones? Hey there, greetings from beautiful Yucatan. I must say it's quite a change, really puts things in perspective. I've calmed down a bit, and I just want to say, I hope you're not still angry with me. You have to come to terms with who you are. You don't have a right to be angry at Delamain. Oh, I didn't read the second half. I like the first half of that sentiment. G good to see you're making progress. <laughs> nice. Life, the universe, and everything. I have discovered the meaning of life. Cool, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Hexagram 61, the fifth line, dynamic. I'm sorry, what's the meaning of life? The world is a great iron prison. Good talk. Watch well, out. this is freaking cool. Alright, we got a couple of extra points here. Let's see, we got that. 30% stamina after neutralizing an enemy with a ranged attack via headshot or weak spot. When Deadeye is active, 35% reload speed for your next reload after neutralizing an enemy via headshot or weak spot. 30% weapon swap speed when swapping to pistols, revolver, snipers, rifles, and precision rifles. Okay. When Deadeye is active, your shots always deal full damage regardless of distance? Yes, please? Okay. Alright, what's some of the stuff we get up here? So we have to get it up to 20. When Dead Eye is active, guaranteed crit hits for headshots and weak spots. Ooh, that could be really powerful. Increase damage as distance increases. Interesting. Run and gun, hip firing does not consume stamina. When focus is active, 25% movement speed. Okay. All right, so what are we going to do next? What's nearby? Cyber Psycho? Then we could run over to this gig. Do a couple gigs. Okay, so is one of my cars Delamain now? It is. Delamain number 21 is Excelsior. Come up here, bro. Come on. Come up here. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> this is a slow car. We don't have to be on it for very long. Willie now. Trust me, you don't want this heat. Security 
Hey, a little bit ago, a tiger claw called for help, attacked by a certain Aki. At least that's what they call the rogue tiger hunter. He's been picking off his own in silent but spectacular fashion. My gut says this Aki had a cyber-psychotic break, but I'd like to know for sure. Don't kill him if you don't have to, and don't forget to watch your back. Where are you hiding? Oh! You little Soma! this why is he at 100 percent do you have like different phases taki kazo i was collecting goods from the drop spot and think someone's out to ambush us only the supplier and us know about that spot, and he doesn't look the type to set us uh, to set up an ambush. So get a grip. I don't know. I got uh, I got this feeling like someone was watching me, like something bad was gonna happen. When I stood in that dark tunnel, I had this sudden feeling like someone was right behind me. It's in your head. You probably just heard your footsteps echoing and some scary shadows. Look, I get it. I'd be nervous too if I thought our spot was compromised. I checked, and all I saw was Norio standing behind me. Didn't say anything. Just looked. Then it was like he vanished into thin air. Bugged. Yeah, he's bug he's super bugged. Is there gonna be a third phase or feels kinda bad to have a bug like that, but Was in an op with the new boss today. His skills leave a lot to be desired compared to Soda's virtuosity. Job wasn't clean at all. It took a couple cuts to finish off some of the six streeters. Painful to watch. Why didn't you help him? I know you could have finished them off before he even managed to draw his blade. Wanted to give him a chance to prove himself. Maybe it's good he got some practice. Soda always made that the top priority. Yeah, but he ruined the shirt you gave me. Besides, I don't feel any kinship with him. Don't worry, you'll get a new shirt for our... You'll get a new shirt for our new life away from this failing gang. Hmm. Think a new shirt will come easier than a new life, but I guess we'll see. Sure hope I'm wrong. Though ever since I started working on my zen, my insight's been much, much stronger. Norio is alive. Manage not to give in to the air of murder. An heir of murder, or Saki, as Fromm calls it in his book, Zen Buddhism and Psychoanalysis. <laughs> the old samurai masters were uncanny in their skill at sensing incoming danger. Clearly, this ability didn't pass down to the Tiger Claws, a price they paid dearly for. Some folk, like Norio, need to know the cause behind everything. He searched high and low for Julia's killers until he found them. At least he didn't die from the lingering doubts, or from you. Okay, Delamain. Figaro or Massingo? 
Figaro. Do they hide below the ice or behind the fire? Behind the fire. I found their leader. Should I burn or drown them? Let them live. I have failed. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have let them out. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do, Delamain? And to who? Hopefully they deserved it. Um, let's see, there was a gun here. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? Let's see. Tiger Claws. Oh, that's a cop. Bro, why are you getting involved in this gang, gang dispute? Fire! Sorry, Popo. Okay, I'm gonna have to get out of here. NCPD! Hey, I'm looting here, bro. Oh, they gave up. I don't know why. But hey, fine with me. Did I get everything I needed? Looks like it. Okay, let's do an inventory audit. I haven't done that in a while. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, was that a new... It is. We got a new iconic. And it's tier 5. Alright, this might be a replacement for our revolver, even though I really love revolvers. We should give this one a try. Okay. Crit and recoil. We'll give that one a shot. Okay, death and taxes. Nothing in life is free. Every powerful hit will cost you a bit of health. Oh. I don't like I don't like that at all, actually. When your health gets low, rounds will start to poison enemies. Um Okay, that changes my mind completely on that. I don't want to use this at all. I don't like weapons like that. Okay, this revolver right now is showing Higher damage. Okay, might want to give this one a shot then. Okay, that cop is looking for me for some reason. All right, we're gonna give this one a shot. Seems to have the same DPS as the other one, but it shoots faster, so. May take more shots for us to actually get things done, but nothing wrong with that. Eh, I don't really need a sight on this. Okay.
Yeah, blue, greens, and whites, I think we're going to start just getting rid of all of those. Okay, I think we're good there. I need to get a tier 5 katana or something. Okay, these are tier fives, but don't like the way they look. Okay, where are we heading next? Maybe I'll roll around these two gigs. And then maybe then we can go to this side job? And then maybe we'll do something of, uh, more consequence. A bigger, a bigger side quest of some kind. We got Takamura. I think we're waiting on Judy right now. But we got Takamura. We've got River. We got plenty of major things that we could we could do. up to the task. Anyway, know you like a challenge. Deets attached. 
Okay. Eliminate Joanne Cock. Biotechnica Corporate Hotel on Republic Way. Chick's name is Joanna Koch. Uh, regional Director for Tech and Development for some shit at Biotechnica. Means she tests all shiny new gizmos. Last little gizmo she tested. Yeah, that one flatlined over 70 souls. Folks from a clan called Red Orchid or Red Ochre or something like that. Koch tried to dry the tears of victims' families with a few ennies. Ever try that? Doesn't work. And decided to close the book on it. Sure enough, book didn't close all the way. All them families pulled together to hire someone who'd give this director cock the cordial agreement she deserves. You know the kind, super cordial, to show her they really care. I'll flick you the cords and access code to the Corpo Hotel she's holed up in. Shoot me a word after the smoke's cleared. What's the affiliation of these guys? Just a worker. We'll knock you out. We don't have to kill you. Alfie Still, Biotechnica. I should probably turn off that turret.
stabilizing measures of immediate coercion. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so many things to cycle through. Never know what's coming up. Kill all the old terrorists. Oh, you made a mistake there, bro. Sorry, girl. Please tell the security on site that I'm busy and that I shouldn't be bothered. I'm not planning on checking out before the weekend. Food should be left at the door at the hour specified on my reservation. Thank you. You can bet your ass I'm chipped. Ooh, this would have been another way for us to get in, I think. Cool. So I bet you if we would have snuck in, this would have been uh, where she was at. In the actual apartment. That's cool. Dear colleagues, Dr. Isaacson performed an autopsy on the deceased nomads. There is no doubt that the cause of the test subject's death was electromagnetic overstimulation. Furthermore, Dr. Isaacson discovered several other abnormal changes such as drastic neurologic growth. For example, uh, needless to say, for the sake of the Nightingale Project's future, information regarding such side effects should never leave the company. I take this opportunity to remind you of the ND NDA you have signed and of the penalties that await you should you break it. Joanne, what a piece of work.
You know what? I like I like the guns blazing method because uh, it just means that there are less corpo scum in the world. Is there somebody alive down here still? Guess that's a yes. Get over there. I'm right here. Come on. Okay, another way we could have gotten in. Lots of ways. I love it. there, buddy. It's a monk? Request Requesting what? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. Just a murderer over here. Don't mind me. Sing back up in city center. All units in the area respond. Roger, you can respond. I didn't even do anything. I don't even know what you guys are on about. Just take it easy, okay, bro? Any plans for the evening dispatch? Did you copy? Damn. One of these days. Suspect's vehicle has been located. Details have been sent. Okay, I don't think that this gig Suspect will get rid of my All wanted level. Site. Continue searching the area. Actually, like, cops everywhere. Yo, V. Cool. I need you to swipe some scrolls. Should be pretty spicy. Client's feeling generous, too. What do you say? Intel attached. Don't make me back. Remain undetected optional. Okay, we're gonna try it. Not good at that shit, but we'll try it. So, there's this cancel woman, Eva Cole. By day, she's a living nightmare for greedy corpos, painting the finger on abuse, digging up problematic witnesses, dishing out fees and penalties and whatever. By night, she fucks, like a fucking cat in heat, with whatever lands on the deck of her yacht docked down at the marina. I act more surprised, but I ain't. I mean, you gotta let out all that stress somehow, right? So anyway, one of these corpos that goes in, uh... Got its toes uh, stomped on once footage of these wet and wild orgy fuckfests. They got in mind a joint screening with the councilwoman will help her see the light of a more pro-business attitude. I send you the yacht name and cords. You fetch the footage. Oh, and I wouldn't sit on any of the furniture if I was you. One last thing. There's more eddies to be made if you do this on the quiet. Alright then. Well. Alright, looks like there's cameras and stuff out here too. Let's just see what we can mark. Man, it's kind of annoying that I can't do the zoom in when I'm doing the tagging.
That one too far away? Nope. Okay, is that a camera right there? Okay, let's get into their cameras. Never even seen it leave port. You know why? They have orgies on it. What's wrong with boning on dry land, huh? <laughs> you see, this is what being loaded to do to motherfuckers. Make them bored and to pray. Gotta have sex on a boat. Stand there and tell me you give all your eddies to orphans. <laughs> Hell to the fucking yeah, I would. Shit, man. I love kids. Well, all right then. I gotta go. Work's calling. Yeah. See ya. Okay, is this the yacht I'm trying to get onto? Alright, so once we get past that gauntlet, man, there's not too much going on. I mean, shit, if I go over there, can I just... Zip on over? Feels a little bit too cheap, but shit, I I got my implants for a reason. Make my job easier. They probably planned for that. Well shit, there's a fucking ladder right there. Worst security ever, bro. Dive with R3. I think swimming is actually new, so I wonder if, like, this originally wouldn't have been an option, but now it is, because swimming's actually a thing. So it wasn't really designed for that in mind. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. Swim faster. Oh, bloody hell. Being all slick over here. People in this city are eating out of tubes, sleeping rough in here. Golden shitters. Where's the shame? Where is the fucking shame? Dude, don't sit on that. Do you hear what happens in here? I don't know, Johnny. Let me just ask the next billionaire I bump into on the street. Tell him Johnny Silverhand asked. No need to ask anything. Just spit in their face. <laughs> what the fuck, Johnny? The myth of air. Most curious, he said, was the spectacle. Sad and laughable and strange, for the choice of the souls was in the most cases based on their experience of a previous life. There we saw the soul, which had once been Orpheus, choosing the life of a swan out of enmity of the race of women. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not reading all that. Okay. It's a good thing I don't have, um... The black light vision. Ashura smart rifle. Oh shit, that's what I need to get into. I don't even need to be here. Okay. I totally misunderstood. But honestly, this was probably our best way in anyway, so...
Hi. Yeah? How's the new hand? <laughs> Fucking nice. Something's wrong with the signal delay. Gotta invest, I guess. Great, thanks. Okay, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? How did I not accidentally set that off? Bro, what the fuck? Oh, I pushed the wrong button. I'm good at video games. Okay, well, that guy's dealt with. Okay, can I distract him somehow? What do I got that can distract that guy? Fuck you. Okay, that guy's supposed to be marked. Who's that guy? Okay, we know that guy's gonna move eventually, so... It's me. Oh, fuck you. Dream, got the files. Now get out of there before things turn ugly. Otterly, fabulous. Seal of trust. Bodie McBoatface Jr. Gelsha? G G Geisha. There we go. Okay. Oxybridge Regatta. 
Ladies and gentlemen, seeing as my last complaint has not yielded any results, I felt it once more incumbent on me to draw your attention to the unacceptable behavior of Bartolomeu Mordellini, owner of the yacht Geisha. Mr. Mordellini has transformed his yacht into a club of questionable reputation, in the process breaking at least two of the marina's rules. Noise curfew, conducting economic, economic activity on marina grounds, we have on our hands a particularly disruptive neighbor. Noise prevents sleep and constant movement on marina grounds poses a safety risk. As if that weren't enough, Mr. Mortellini's guests either do not know how or do not want to behave like normal human beings. Every morning, the dock is blanketed in broken glass and used condoms. I firmly demand an immediate and decisive response from the marina's administration, otherwise I will be forced to take my vessel elsewhere. Josh Kevorkin Dear all, we have received another complaint regarding the loud parties taking place on the yacht The Geisha. We demand that you cease such activity immediately. Our marina is an exclusive place for relaxation and polite entertainment. We hope that further reminders will not be necessary. So, I, who was the guy who gave us the job? Was it this Kevorkin? It might be. Marina closure. Dear members, due to acquiring a new security company, the marina will be closed in order to install new alarm systems, automated security turrets, etc. We apologize for any inconvenience caused and would like to stress that our change in contractor is to improve your safety. If you say so. Okay, extra reward, let's go to the drop point. Knew you wouldn't balls us up, client's happy, so am I. Means you just earned yourself a fat bonus. They can't find me. <laughs> I hope they can't find me. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see here. We can start by getting rid of anything that is white, blue, or green. Except for you. And we can't get rid of you either, anyway. I assume this works? Hiding like this? That it's not like a proximity thing? Okay, there we go. Starting to blink. And free. Come out with your hands up. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. But you're not looking for me anymore. Judy. Hey V. 
Wanted to thank you again, you know, for helping me with clouds. Don't want to think about what could have happened if you hadn't been there. Anywho, I think I got something that might help us. Can't go into deets yet, but I'll holler at you in a couple days. Oh, and have a fabulous day. Okay. Alright, we're getting closer to the cloud stuff, it sounds like. She's, uh, getting her plan ready. Stabilizer and something grad. Alright, we're going to pick up this side job. And then I think after that we're going to do something bigger. Maybe we'll uh, follow up on Pan Am. It's been a while. Okay. Can we survive if we double jump at the right time? Gas, gas, gas? It is hard to achieve peace if there is a demon. Never leaving. Contemplation is like the silence in the eye of the storm. You start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. You are losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. Is this some kind of prank? Someone's scrolling all this? Normally you are open to new things, but now you are afraid. Fine. What's all this about? Meditation. You mean like being zen? Precisely. Okay, I'm listening. In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal. Concrete canyons, neon eyes, the filth of the world suffocates you. Sure is a no Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All what you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? I want specifics. What's in it for me? Self-fulfillment. <laughs> you shall hear your voice, and only yours. All else will become silent. A little more specific than that. You cannot exile yourself from your own life. I'll give it a shot, why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Nothing could possibly go give wrong, me. right? You can pay me however much you wish. This should cut it. Very well. It's like the a drop initial in the techniques bucket. of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you.
So the monks are okay with using tech. They just this don't want implants. Of the earth element. Spirit of nature, Mother Earth, I send you greetings. We are of one blood. I am you. You are me. Oh, Mother Earth, I and all other creatures from you created. Cleanse my body and soul from pain, sickness, impurity, and the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and inner peace. We walk the earth through meadows, nature in full bloom. We remove our shoes, feel our bare feet touch the soil. We absorb the earth's energy. We sense joy, tranquility, lightness, purity, our heart and soul. We walk the earth. A butterfly rests on blooming flower. Bees are gathering nectar. Warmth and joy surrounds us. Our legs absorb the Earth's energy, filling every cell of our bodies. Our souls and spirits are cleansed. We thank you, Mother Earth, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you or the other elements. Um, hello? What the fuck? Nice vanishing trick. And all my money's gone. Could you imagine? Would be kind of funny. Okay. Well. I think this is where we're going to end this episode. And in the next one, we'll take that teleporter to uh, Pan Am's camp. And we'll do what's there. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monar, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Dennis McKinnon, Turkeyfoot27, Pato Kuto, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.